China's and oh my god what is wrong with this this person is so fat oh my god are you a Mikote I've never seen an overweight one I've never seen an overweight Makote before. Holy cow. Oh, who's this then? Lord and Lady Chai, pray forgive our intrusion. I am given to understand you are in search of an artist. Ah, you must be the new, uh... Painter. Oh, goodness me! <laughs> what an adorable boy! That silken hair, those pearly cheeks, oh! And you even smell wonderful, like a bed of flowers! <laughs> I approve of this one, dearest. I am positive he'll paint us the most delightful pictures. I, uh, uh y yes. <coughs> well, I mean, as long as he paints better than that talentless wretch we sent packing last week. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome to you, Moor. Um, Alfino, if it please you, my lady. And this is my assistant. Your assistant? I've heard of folk bringing in family members, but this seems a bit irregular. Aren't you a little young to have a protege? <laughs> we are family in all but name, my lord. Though we share no blood, we have stood by each other through life's many challenges. Resolved to prevail together, or not at all. Of all people, tis she who best understands my work. With her unique insight guiding my hand, the art I create is sure to satisfy your expectations. Once the picture has begun, of course, I shall have no need of constant encouragement. And so I wondered, rather than her being in your way, might it then be permissible for my assistant to explore the city she has so longed to see? Out of gratitude for her priceless contribution to my art, I thought it only fair that I make this humble request on her behalf. Sure. Oh, did you ever hear of such devotion? Of course your assistant must have her wish. She shall be free to roam to her heart's content. Hmm. Huh. I wish she told me about the, this plan before. Isn't that right, darling? Well. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, of course, dearest. Qu quite right. Hmm, a cure for an ailing voice, is it? No, no medicine will cure this. Methinks your songbird has a lump in her throat. It must be cut out, excised, and even then the voice may never heal completely. Oh, no. Poor little songbird, will they kick her out? Kick her from the nest, I wonder? Or simply silence her chirps? Oh, that sucks. Oh, your face, you didn't know? Of the many hopefuls who enter the city, very few are ever seen to leave, even as corpse. Oh, wow. So, silence her chirps means they're gonna kill her? No, they're gonna feed it to the Sin Eaters? Oh ho, you might see one or two fortunate fools hurled from the balconies, but the rest? Gone. A town of nightmares, it is. Not for this ship's rat. Oh no, no. 
I'm content to scurry around down here and nibble on the crumbs which fall from the tables. Like, do they literally fall from, from up there? The consultation is... This consultation is over. You have my verdict, and I have my mule. Good day. Did you get my medicine? So that's it. What am I to do if I can't sing? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, there you are, my sweet canary. Have you been crying again? Don't tell me your voice is still not on the mend. Oh, generous sir, have mercy. I've done all I can, but the apothecary said... Oh, you need to cut that lump out, according to the apothecary. Uh-oh. So, you've been suffering all this time? I am sorry, my pet. That's degrading. I hadn't realized your afflictions... I haven't... I hadn't realized your affliction was this grave. But you needn't fret. I'll not reward your hours of chilling by casting you out onto the street. You are too kind, sir. But what use am I if I cannot sing? I fear the day I become more burdened to you than treasure. And I shall have a word with Lord Vathri and arrange for your ascension. Oh, wow. In this paradise where resides neither pain nor illness will your song ring out clearly once again. Or may have you think it's a step too far? No. You would do that for me? Of course. Why would I... Why, I would almost wish to hasten my own ascension, knowing your blessed, blessed instrument was waiting there to greet me. Oh, wait, what? Ascension? Oh, no, 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 no. This is... That's bad. No, no, no. This sounds bad. Yeah, this is this is the thing where they get sacrificed as um This is where they get sacrificed to the Sin Eaters. This is this has gotta be it. Uh you must be a new arrival to harbor such doubts. Allow me to allay your suspicions. Ah uh, As as all know, the Sin Eaters exist to devour devour the sinful. But also do they serve to gather the souls of the innocent and shepherd them unto celestial paradise. It is through Lord Vothri that we learn this truth. It is through Lord Vothri's grace that the free people of you more are destined to embrace salvation. We are blessed to send our days or spend our days surrounded by love and merriment until at last we are called to our final rapture. Even the bonded may find a place within that host, should their patrons deem them worthy. Oh, welcome back, Bon. Lord Vathi is truly a great man, isn't he? Now, if you will excuse me, we must be on our way. You find eternal salvation for the compassion you have shown my precious canary. Just got some ruby slippers. Nice. Oh my god. That's him. That's Volthry. That guy is. Okay, so he's Jabba the Hut. Got it. He's attended by sin eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? He feeds them. He feeds them. Uh, my 
Pussy. Pussy. By the twelve. Oh, it's him. Oh, holy cow. Cut himself. Kaishia, what happened to you? Not sure if I would have rushed up to him like that. Who are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. He came to us, claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. Europe is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society! To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. And he had the temerity to weep. Please, my lord, <laughs> anything but that. <laughs> what then is a man of mercy to do but offer the sinner another way to show his contrition? Another way, meaning what exactly? Getting Sin eaters are part of Yulmore society, but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. Yep. Yep. I called it. So, I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. It is true that Kaishia won his place here by fraud, but his actions were driven only by desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out, I could almost accept. But to humiliate him thus? To demand his very life? Is this truly the way of Yulmore? Oh, you dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. I alone can offer these things, for I alone can command the Sin Eaters. And thus am I alone the voice of justice, and any who oppose me, villains to be punished. Huh. Oh wow. And people call this paradise. Oh wow, okay. I've never done anything like that before. You were granted a place in my city for a particular skill. What was it? Painting. 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 Oh, an artist! Then you shall paint a picture for me. 
of Hulmor. If I find your art pleasing, then I may excuse this display of insolence. Gave you permission to tend to that criminal's wounds. I told you to paint me a picture. Oh, I'm doing good. <sighs> okay, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna eat. What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Damn, look at that glare. Did, did this little worm just insult me? <laughs> I never... I guess you're right. He can't move. I'll kill them! I'll kill them all! I'll enslave their minds! I'll torment them! Torture them! Then tear out their hearts. Oh, who's this? No luck then, but he surely can't have gone far. We should keep looking. The Sin Eaters are out in force, and if we don't find him soon, you can be sure they will. It's there. Wow, they didn't... Did see the size of that thing? It must be one of the nasty ones. Wherever it's going, it can only mean trouble. After it! So yeah, I was able to um, discern that in Yomor that um, people were getting, there it is. well, after a little bit of, um, is that, oh, oh no, oh shoot, what's going on? Wow. So she is. Have to run. She is. Tessling, no. Oh my God. First death that I witnessed here. The time left to you is precious. No one should die in pain. Mother, mother, I. Ah, oh, that was brutal. What's so she turning into? Uh... Oh my god. Oh, that sounds nasty. Ugh. 
epic metamorphosis. It's a feather cocoon. Um, wait, what? It just leaves? She still has her thoughts? unexpected that was unexpected um, unexpected and sad it's releasing its ether fall back we cannot let it touch us. Quickly, my lord, we must withdraw. That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern, the eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. The blessing of light. And the hero who wields it now stands before you. Wait, what? Sounds dangerous. Wait, so I'm not going to turn into one of those things if this happens? Super weird. Yeah, our tank was pretty good. Oh, oh wow. Just like in the trailer. Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. Oh wow, and and now there's nighttime here. Holy Holy cow. People are so probably so happy to see nighttime after I don't know how long. Yeah, it looks like he, each one, like, kind of has their own region. Oh, this is... Oh, so the, there's light in the Crystallium now. Uh, yeah. Wow. What's happening? <laughs> it's so beautiful. The sunless sea. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd be freaked out if I'd never seen darkness before. The warrior of darkness has come. Well, the trailer did say become the warrior of darkness. I don't know if that's ref in reference to me or the actual warrior of darkness, but we'll find out. Oh. Might be a big reason why the warrior of darkness can't show up, because there's like too much light or something. Is that what I think it is? The night sky, as it should be. Who are you people? You killed a woman, <laughs> then thanks. I appreciate it. As if it were a spring shower, this is and now the sky. I, I usually tend to talk to myself with these things, true. and you could probably laugh at how wrong I am so, uh, some of, some of the times, probably. They're like, ah, he doesn't know. My lord? How many years have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing. For you. Her blessing. You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland, and for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Without the ever present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Eh? Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I swear, on my life, I will one day atone for that deed. But for the present... I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. So, did he have like a vision? I mean, you can tell me if um, it's already happened, but like, did he have a vision that I would be able to do these things or something? Because Uri Yanje saw that I was going to die, but I don't know if he saw that I was... If it's not a spoiler. Um... Uh Oh okay, then yeah. Uh no biggies. Oh this guy. On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. The way of darkness. I understand there is much at stake here, Exar, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. Well, there's a lot at stake. Well, you already said that. <laughs> I do it for my people, of course. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes. But the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course. That's right, he brought the crystal tower over here. Somehow. There are... things... which we can ill afford to lose. And... I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. 
I will say, like, these cutscenes, these in-game cutscenes are way better. Like, your character has a lot... A lot more expressions now. Before, it's just, like, three things. Now, now you actually have, like, a range of emotions that you show. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. Oh really? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. It gives a nice flavor to the, um... To, your, then, cho to your choices. My warriors of darkness. Let us gather the surviving villagers and make our way back to the Crystarium. resemblance to the artist my master seeks oh by all means keep your counsel you will all have ample time to confess your crimes back in you oh shit This is... this is awesome. I mean, who is who is expecting this? Not me. Vermin such as you are not worthy of the Oracle. Looks like he can ch channel Ether again. What is she gonna do? Dude, was he gonna be able to jump that far? Holy cow. Sooner see it raised than conquered. Suffice it to say, we are ready to receive you. What now, Exarch? Will you face me yourself?
Oh shit. I think not, General. I've quite exhausted my tricks. If you mean to give chase, I will not stand in your way. But you would do well to tread warily, for your quarry goes to a place where even your more dare not bear its steel. Where's that? Ilmeg, the fairy kingdom. Oh. Oh, it's... The plan has gone awry. Oh, it's this guy. Arden from Final Fantasy XV. But how? How did the so-called <clears throat> Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the Source to the First? As if I didn't have enough on my hands already. Oh, it's, um, what's his face, his grandfather. With a soul such as that. The Asian. Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed. Not so long ago, here in the shadow of the northern ranges, lay the great kingdom of Verbert. A nation with a proud history that the Sin Eaters cut short, just like all the rest. Since that time, these lands have become a haven for fey folk. Dreamers frolicking amidst the ruins of a forgotten realm. That looks nice. Looks like a nice cathedral. Like. Ghost there. Are you the one who broke the seal? Oh no. Why don't you talk? Or I mean voice act. Light Warden. She doesn't look like um, a light warden. Ah, so much time lost, so much frolicking and feasting left undone. Is this the, uh... Wait, we must make up for it. We must getting by playing with you. Okay. It's weird. We can play no more. And night is back. Shh. 
You have freed our fallen king. Not that I expected any less, my Snayak. The dress, the crown, the scepter, the shoes. The time has come for these relics to serve their true purpose. For they are not only keys to the castle, they are also blessings to be bestowed upon the new king. The way into the castle is opened when it is time to relieve the reigning monarch of the throne. And the brave soul who does the deed has the honor of taking their place. Oh, wow. However, should you ascend the throne, you will become one of us. Never again to live as men do. My adorable sapling. My precious mortal. We fae folk live forever, but such is not your virtue. Strive for a dream you will never see. To sow seeds that others might one day taste the fruits of your garden. That is the beauty of your kind. Burn bright and shine as only you can. These blessings, your lovely branch will accept in your stead. You're gonna become king? Queen? Oh, wow. Okay. Looks very regal. Kinla, Ilichla, Ilmek, Okbra. Shall we attend to those unwise enough to trespass in our realm? Pretty cool. Confound it! How did they get here so fast? these pixies and their tricks oh how in the seven hells listen well we come in pursuit of villains who have fled to this land you know who and where they are now show yourselves and answer me before I lose my patience this guy is crazy Enchantment. Minfilia, willful child, how many times must I come to collect you? I won't return to your moor, and I won't let you hurt my friends. What is this stance? Where did you learn it? No I'm... oracle I trained would make such an unseemly show of herself. I'm Thancred. That's Thancred's stance. Know your shame, girl. You're powerless. You have no life nor purpose save that which our master sees fit to permit.
Who are you to dictate her purpose? To lock her away and deny her a life? If she was powerless, it's because of you, you sanctimonious swine. But no longer. Fool! Defiance only begets more suffering. It is through acceptance alone that one may find solace in this God's forsaken world. Look! The sky! Oh, that looks awesome. She's done it. The warrior of darkness has triumphed. General, what are our orders? What do we do? We do what we came to do. Subdue this rabble and find the warrior of darkness. Forward, men! Take the villains captive! Are you deaf? I said! <laughs> they became leafmen. <laughs> what? What's happening? Water? That wasn't there before. Oh, that's so funny. Oh wow, the Amaro have red eyes? General, they come in greater numbers. We must retreat. All who stand with a warrior of darkness shall face justice. My master demands it. I want to learn the backstory of this guy. Like, why does he serve his master so faithfully? Hmm. That's what I want to know. For me to find out later, I guess. I see. Well, it's a good thing Fair all volunteered to become king in your stead, for all our sakes. Yeah, that's a... That's a sacrifice right there. We are grateful for your timely aid, Fair all Or, should I say, your majesty. It was the first night in recent memory. We all of us but wish to make the most of it. That's something you must remember about us Fey folk. Though our existence may be eternal, we exist only for the present. We live in the here and now, paying no mind to futures that may or may not be. To wit, we are not driven as men are. We cannot fight for such causes as men do. Does that mean you won't aid us against the Sin Eaters? <laughs> not unless the mood takes us. But if it was to repay a debt, well then, that's another matter. 
To take back as much as is taken. To create as much as is destroyed. To give as much as is received. Such is the way of Ilmeg. By this law, we shall lend you our strength. In return for the beautiful sky you have restored to us. In times of need, do not hesitate to call. Oh, those blue Squirtle people are the Floth. I was like, well, who are those guys again? Silly sapling. I shall remain at your side. Even should my body be in the castle, tis a simple thing to have a little part of me accompany you. Treat them as you would your Isnefis. This place looks really nice at night time. It's like a, it's like a Disney fairy tale castle type of deal. It's nice. All seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yulmor was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. Oh shoot. It's Solus. You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. And you are... Were one to study the annals of Galian history, one would find yonder visage on many a page. Founding father of Garlemald. Though by rights, its youth should long since have faded. Or the Galian Empire, shall I say. Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus So Scalpus, founding father of the Garlian Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. As for my true identity... I am Emmet Self, Asia. What? Like Gaius spoke of you, a native of the source. Like I knew that he was an Asian, but what is he doing here? And why is he revealing himself? Equal in rank to La Habrea. And you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? Oh, it is truly, deeply... ...infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. 
And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining! Ah, had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. Oh. Oh, this guy's like a typical villain. He tells us everything. But you had to come and ruin it all. Thanks to your meddling, light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters. Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? Happy to let me go, are you? Because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Look, it did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all. But that's no different from what Lahabre did. And we all know how well that ended for him. And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Cooperation. I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. Since time immemorial, you and yours have labored to rejoin the Thirteen Shards, at the cost of countless lives. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Nay, our objective is the same as it ever was. Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once, might we not seek to find common ground? For good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew, scheme and conspire to my heart's content. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye to understand what drives the hero of the source, to determine if our goals are truly incompatible. So come, shed your preconceptions. See beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Think of it. Thou hast delivered thy proposal, and we would not dismiss it outright. If I may offer thee counsel, however, to make thy case via an illusion reflecteth poorly upon thy sincerity. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Asian Slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. I take my leave, friends. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon. Wow. What's going to happen next? Oh boy. All right, Artbert.
That's the sandwich basket I'll get. It's so nice. Handwritten missive. I hope the past few days have not been overly taxing. Pray take your rest and recover. From the Exarch, is it? And with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move, you know? You probably think you're talking to yourself. Really? Still, he's keeping you well fed. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was set adrift. I know little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Not that it matters. It's Emmett Selk we should be concerned about. When our world was about to be consumed by light, the Asian in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. Desperate as we were, we heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Asian's own making. They cannot be trusted, none of them. But Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did. And it cost us everything we held dear. You're putting me off my dinner. <laughs> uh. You mean Seto? Well, that's... Guy. I suppose you're right. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big. And he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change. Wow, we're gonna be best friends. I ate a lot of sandwiches.